Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways that you can style your hair on school mornings that are really quick and easy and really cute. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you can brush your hair out and that's the first step to any of these looks if you want to do that. A lot of gurus say that the first thing you always need to do is brush out your hair. I think it's optional. I don't even like to brush my hair. That's the first step for anything if you want to do it. So here's the first look and this is a side bun and you're, you cover up the hair band with your own hair and then you pin your bangs to the side and there's a small slight detailed braid on the other side. So if you're interested in this look, keep watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is gather all of your hair to one side at the jawline and I suggest doing this to whatever side your hair is parted at and this looks better with parted hair so if you have a middle part um, you might want to part it to one side or you can try this out with a middle part but grab this all to one side at your jawline and then what you're going to want to do take out a tiny chunk of hair this is less than an inch thick maybe and I'm just gonna leave that to the side over here and you're going to want to turn this into a bun and the way to do that is by twisting and wrapping at the same time you're not going to want to wrap the whole thing up at first because then when you try to turn it into a bun you have less control so if you twist it at the same time as you wrap it you have a lot more control over what your hair is going to look like and so it's pretty messy as you can see but that's the look so you're going to take the bun and then you're just going to tie it up and so that's what the beginning part looks like and you can see the hairband and where it separates from your hair so that's what this piece of hair is for and you're going to take this hair just gather this whole chunk and bring it back to this side and wrap it around where the hairband is and then you take a bobby pin and you pin this down to where the hairband is. Um, this covers up the hairband and gives the bun a more pulled together look. And then you're going to want to take this side of your bangs, take another bobby pin, and just pin them right next to your ear, but in front of your ear, not behind your ear. So you just pin it like that. And you can use like a cuter, more colorful barrette if you want. Um, you can like loosen this up however you want. And if it's a little too loose, you can take another bobby pin and pin it closer to your head. And I always end up doing this for buns just to get the exact look that I want. So, and then you're going to want to have another bobby pin ready. And if you like just this, you can leave it at this, but to make it a little bit more fun and different, you leave a little piece of this bang in front like that and take this tiny piece of bang and braid it. And it's going to be really small, so it's going to be like a small detail that someone might not notice at first, but then they might like take a double take and be like, oh wait, what was that? So just braid this all the way down. So as you can see, I have this pretty much down to like the last inch, and it's a pretty thin braid. And so I'm just going to pull this back to where it ends right behind my ear and take my bobby pin and pin this down to my head. And this just gives it a much more fun look that's a lot different than anyone else's side bun. And this, this is one of my favorite looks on a morning that I'm rushing because it looks like you took so much time on it when it really took like under five minutes. And I have done this in the car before. Super quick, it's super easy, or even in between a class if you're like, wow, my hair is really boring. I keep bobby pins with me at school. So this is just a really easy look for that and I really like it, so I hope you do too. This next look is the fishtail braid. And this is what it looks like. And it looks almost like a regular braid, except you can tell it's a little different, which makes it unique and something different than everyone else has. So this is a great look for when you're running late to school or just need a quick hairstyle. So if you like it, keep watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this look is gather all of your hair to the side of your head. And fishtail braids look really intricate, but they're so simple. 
So gather all of your hair to the side of your head. Usually it just starts like right about here because this is where the hair overlaps. So what you're going to do first is separate your hair into two even sections. So those aren't really even, so let's try again. These two are pretty even. They don't have to be exact, but then I start on... I start braiding from this side because there's shorter pieces um, because it's reaching further across the head and take the a chunk of the hair from the outside of this side put it over the side see this is okay this hair is from this half and you're going to fold it over the half that it came from and gather at the inside of the other half then you're going to repeat this on the opposite side. You're going to take hair from this side, from the outside, layer it over, and gather on this side. And you're just going to continue these. So do this all the way down until the edges of your hair or wherever you would like to stop. So over and then to the inside, outside, over, inside. That's the best way to... Describe it and remember it, I guess. You go outside, over, inside. So I'm going to stop braiding here for time purposes, but usually I braid it until the very ends when I start to lose, um, like, pieces, I guess you could say. Um when they start to really thin out and there's not even enough to like separate them and then you can keep it nice and clean and simple like this or what I like to do is I kind of like to like loosen it and separate it and when it goes further down pieces of my layers will stick out too and it makes it look like purposefully messy and easy which is a look that I like a lot and then what you can also do for this is pin your bangs to the side if you want your hair out of your face. So yeah, this is definitely a great look. I've done this in the car a million times also. So this is really simple and easy. So I hope you try this. So my next look is this twisted double hair look and it looks like this. So if you're interested in how to do this hairstyle, keep watching. Thank you. So for the last look I'm going to do, it's something really simple. And you can just leave your hair, most of your hair down for this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is from right behind your bangs or the front of your hair, take a small chunk of hair from your top layers, if you have layers, and just twist it around in a circle like this. And then I'm going to hold this in my mouth so that I can do this on the other side. So now you have these two twists on the side of your head and you want them to be perfectly even. You can fix them to look that way. And now I'm going to turn around to show you what to do next. Oh, but first, this is the hair band I'm going to be using. It's this tiny black rubber band and you can buy these from CVS just really cheap. You got like a pack of a hundred and you don't reuse these or anything. You pretty much just throw them away when you're done. But these are pretty much invisible like when you put them on your hair, which is great for this. Or you could use a barrette, but I would not suggest using a thicker hairband. So then what you do is you take these two twisted pieces of hair and bring them together just like this. Take your rubber band and, you know, get it so that you're going to tie your hair and then tie these two pieces of hair together with your hairband. Just like this. So as you can see, that was a really simple look, but it looks really intricate. And then what you can do with your bangs is take your bangs and tuck your bangs underneath the twist. And this can give it a really nice look. So this is really cute. And this is a very pretty look, and it's really simple. It takes seconds. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and subscribe.